morning, Jay. Good morning. Over here, reading. Psalm uh, 84. Psalm 84, is that what you're playing? My soul longs, even faint soul, the courts of the Lord. My soul longs, even faint soul, the courts of the Lord. That's kind of cool. You're like the sweet psalmist of Hillsboro. No, man, this is a uh, Starfield has a song called Heart and Flesh. Uh, my friend John, who's over at West Side, uh, kind of took those, that, those first lines of this psalm uh, from verse two. My soul yearns, even faints for the courts of the Lord. And then the chorus of that song is, my heart and flesh cry out for the living God. Yeah, I just thought that was uh, kind of cool when I read it this morning. I was reminded of that song. And I was kind of thinking about how, um, you know, this psalm is written with the idea of the actual, like, temple in mind, you know, being in the presence of the Lord. And then you think about, fast forwarding to where we are in John and Jesus is there saying to the disciples, like, I'm coming, I'm going to be in you, like through the spirit. And that's why Paul writes later on, because the temple was special because of the presence of the Lord, but now the presence of the Lord is in us. Uh, our bodies are a living temple. And, um, and so I just kind of love how this Psalm puts in beautiful words. Like, you know, when we, the attitude towards being in the presence of God, um, longing for it, fainting for it. We don't really talk that way, but um, heart and flesh crying out to be in the presence of the Lord. Um, this was, as we've talked about, people who were taken out of the land uh, that they knew where the temple was. They couldn't actually like be in the presence of the Lord. And so to cry out in that way, you know, I just was thinking about, you know, the moments that I go astray or find myself sort of, you know, doing my own thing. And, but yet how lovely is his dwelling place. And I loved this. One last thing I'll add is um, the how lovely there. Uh, the word in the Hebrew is not about aesthetic beauty. It's not like this place is like really pretty. It's actually uh, better translated how well loved we are in the dwelling place. And so I was just thinking about, man, when I'm in God's presence, I'm well loved. And, you know, why would I want to be elsewhere? Why would I want to be doing worldly things or chasing after, you know, worldliness? that's going to chew me up and spit me out when I could be in the presence of God well loved. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I love that. This is, this is a Psalm that honestly, when I read through it uh, with a view towards what, what stands out, what might I share uh, for this, it was funny because uh, this is one of those Psalms where I felt like every next couple of verses, it's like, Oh, that stands out. Oh, that stands out. Um, and, and so I love what you're talking about with the opening there. And verse five says, blessed is the man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on a pilgrimage. And I like that because we're just, we're just passing through. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's weird to try and wrap our minds around that ultimately this world isn't our home. Paul talks about how we're in tents, our bodies, these tents, this tempor temporary situation, but ultimately we're headed for heaven uh, where we'll be in his presence. In, in that beauty that you're talking about. I love that. Um, the, the part that I, I landed on that I thought, I'll, I'll say that, is in verse 11. And it just says, no good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. And I love that because, uh, well, I guess, first of all, that doesn't mean that you have to be absolutely perfect. Otherwise, you don't qualify or, uh, you know, 
No, if you walk with Jesus and you're perfectly covered by the righteousness of Jesus Christ because you're a follower of his, then you are in this category by grace through faith in Jesus where God will not withhold. Daddy, Lily kicked the dog and, and Lily kicked the dog and hit me. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. I have only kicked the dog and hit me. Well, we'll have to go talk to her, huh? Oh, yeah. I like the dress. Where it's uh, like our Disney theme tonight. Perfect. I love it. We would love it too. But anyways, um, God doesn't withhold any good thing from us. And that's just so encouraging to me. And it's, it's an encouragement to me to be willing to just trust God. Because sometimes I think I know that something will be good for me, even though it's clearly not of God. And so the, the simple word that I just wanted to say to whoever might be listening to this is that if it's not of God, it's not good. And sometimes like Eve in the Garden of Eden, she saw that the fruit was good for food and desirable for wisdom. And she, uh, you know, went there and engaged in that. Ultimately, it proved not to be good for her and so trust god walk with him today and enjoy his presence the beauty of his presence i love that and tonight at youth come dressed in your disney theme like these girls yes Anna and elsa love it all right bro peace peace <laughs>